Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Buffy here, joined by... What up, guys? It's David again, as you know. Yes, they do know. Because they read it and then... No, they didn't, because it's not always in the description. Well, I'm here. Enjoy. Well, the thing is, putting the different names in the description takes up a lot of description exactly. space, yeah, unfortunately. So. Sometimes it's actually quite hard to get the whole topic in. Yeah, well, if you're here for the Game of Thrones blank. review series and you've listened to the last two, you know you can't do it without me, so... He's all good. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Sounds like a... And if you're interested in a bit more depth of Game of Thrones, check out the Buff Geek Podcast blog at wordpress.com where our very own Kev has written his own fan theory. Uh, well, see, I was speaking to Kev recently, uh, well, as recently as two weeks ago, and he was coming up with some stuff and I was like, hmm, these are tasty. So I, I quite... I'm quite interested in reading this fan theory. <coughs> um, just uh, while you're prepping some of the stuff for us there. Yep. Well, two things. I probably would struggle more to do the Game of Thrones one on my own than anything else because I don't remember people's names. And uh, you do. Yeah. So I'd be like, the bald cunt. Uh, you know, the unit guy who's maybe a fish. And people uh, are like, what is he talking about? Richard O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I watched... Um, FMA recently I started re-watching it because I realised that it was on Netflix and yes. for people that don't know what FMA is it's Full Metal Alchemist or it's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood yes it's which Brotherhood is on Netflix, right? which is the one that's faithful to the original manga comics okay because the original one you'll notice it starts off the same and then it starts there's a point where it kind of branches off into the different stories from the original the original one went off and had done its own thing and just wasn't actually as good as the manga, and people didn't like it. That's why Brotherhood came back. Oh right, okay. So Brotherhood starts off very much the same. You know, they go to they go to see the the priest who's doing the philosopher's stone. The name of that place is on the absolute tip of my tongue. Um, you know, and then they've got the the Hughes storyline, things like yep. that. That all happens in both series. Okay, um, where then where does it deviate? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying here. See, uh, I read this before as well, but I couldn't I can't remember where it deviates, but it's somewhere, somewhere around the end of the Do the brothers part. split up? I can't remember. I need to watch the it? whole thing again. Because I've never seen the other version. I've only seen... Oh, have you not? I've only ever seen Brotherhood. It's still worth going and watching. It's just, it feels a bit unfinished. Is it the same actors, voice actors? Yeah, yeah, yeah same, it's the same everything. Same art? Same, yeah. Because I, I just, watched the... Milos one? Sacred Star of Milos. What a heap of shit. You not like it? Absolute crap. Oh, I liked it. Terrible storyline. Well, not not terrible, but but pretty bad. It was weird. Right? It wasn't about the brothers. It wasn't about the brothers weren't trying to do anything. The brothers just happened to be there. Yeah. Right. Um, I think that's the point, though, so that you could you could technically slot it in almost anywhere, if I remember rightly. Oh, so they could say it was happening before. X, Y, or Z. I think so, I can't so remember. So see if it was said... I watched it when it first came out. See if they said it before Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously Brotherhood starts off... When they're kids. Well, Does sort... It? No, no, no. Brotherhood starts off with the ice... Um, Alchemist. Alchemist. So if they said it before that, it might have worked a little bit better. Mm-hmm. But because they don't really specify, and I'm pretty sure actually they, they kind of hint that it's later on, because I think... Mustang is is the top boy by this oh, point. Oh, right, okay, so it is after that then. I, I think. But the, the problems I had with it is that it felt like they were going, like, oh, there's the Philosopher's Stone. Remember the Philosopher's Stone? Oh, Remember right, it? Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, there's Colonel Mustang. Here he is, there he is, there he is, and he's gone. And he's kind of, he's, he, he appears at the end and he's just kind of there mm-hmm. and does nothing. Nah. You don't actually see him use his powers. It's still enjoyable. No, it was bad. Okay. It was really bad. It was basically like someone went, do you know what? We need, we need to make a cash grab because people like this thing. This script seems okay. Let's go with that. And then they had the double turn with the two villains. Like it was a double villain turn. I can't remember that either. Right, well, so her brother... The, 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 this is going to be really complicated, but people that have watched it will understand. Um, the people who haven't should, so let's not spoil it. Oh, right, okay, good point. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is probably... Definitely worth watching Brotherhood. The definitely original, watch Brotherhood. The original series had like about 63 episodes and it finished with a movie, The Conqueror of Shambhala. And it just, the whole thing felt unfinished. Huh. It was horribly unfinished. Really? Yeah. That's the thing about manga sometimes. I, like, I watched Brotherhood, the first episode, and I was like, that was amazing. 
There's more, because that was a perfect, perfectly good illustration of a manga like one shot. Right. I've seen so many manga one shots or like like three or four episodes or something, and then they never finished them. Yeah. And they just it was like you've got the lore there. Mm-hmm. You're introducing a whole bunch of characters. There's a whole bunch of interesting storylines happening, and then nothing happens. How? Like Cyber City, Oido Way to Wait was fantastic. This is like nineties ones. You know, ah. So. Um, Doom Megalopolis, it did kind of end, but like when I first saw it, they only ever showed the first episode. Because sometimes mm-hmm. they don't. Channel Four used to show the manga stuff. Channel yeah, okay. Four in the UK mm-hmm. would show the manga stuff, and we're not talking about Game of Thrones. No, let's 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 move on to Game of Thrones. So yeah. we're going to probably have to do like a bit of an anime chat, or maybe an FMA, like chat, that, at an FMA chat at some point. Anyway, Game of Thrones season seven, hook. episode three. The Queen's Justice. The Queen's Justice. Now, first thing when I read that, it was I was thinking, which queen? Well, my thoughts were Cersei. Okay, so I was thinking Elaria Sand. Daenerys. Right. What is she? What bullshit is she gonna do to become a heel? <laughs> and that on the front of the. Oh dear! I'm so caught. <laughs> you haven't watched this at all, have you? No, no, I have watched it. I absolutely have watched it. Right, okay. And um, I caught for the reason of how I watched it. Right, okay. Excellent. Well, let's just move on. The the thumbnail right. had Tyrion on it, and I was like, "The Queen's Justice." No. <laughs> and someone said to me, now, of course, this is a <laughs> spoiler episode. Someone said to me that there's a friend of mine. Uh, he's a client as well, right? And he'll say things like, oh, have you seen the new episode yet? I'm like, no. He's like, oh, uh, someone dies. But he won't. I'm like, dude, that's a spoiler. He's like, no, it's not. I've not told you it is. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, that's... Mm-hmm. So he said to me, someone died. In between, like, oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm going to be coming to train this weekend, blah, blah, blah. And then this person, someone dies. And I'm like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> so instantly I'm thinking, Tyrion. Not the Tyrion. <laughs> so I was a little bit worried. Um, but yeah, so... <clears throat> no, I did watch Game of Thrones. I absolutely did, and I watched it just before you came in. Right, okay. Tonight, and I'm going to prove that by not needing to use any notes because right, my memory's okay. fantastic. Excellent. And you can tell me the names of the characters. That's fine then. <laughs> so, so where did it begin? Begins with Jon Snow and the Onion landing. Sir Davos. Sir the Davos. Onion Knight. Landing on the beach of Daenerys' world, which is also known as. Dragon's Beach. No, nope, you're close. Dragon's... Stone. That's it. Right, okay. I don't know why I've got a problem with the names of shit for this show. Well, you can't just call them all Castle Grayskull. You have to learn their names. Oh, boo. <laughs> Bees. <laughs> um, yeah, also, the um, the medium I watched it on wasn't very crisp, so sometimes the little bits jumped. Okie dokie. So stop incriminating yourself. I should stop incriminating myself. Yes, you really should. Is streaming illegal? Let's not get into this debate. We've had this debate several times. No, but I don't know if it, if it actually is. I think so. Definitely providing the content is, and I think streaming still is. Huh. That's why I don't do it. Well, neither do I. I just wanted to know. <laughs> so, in any case... Um, yeah, any case, so they're, they're on the they're on the beach, and they're, it's kind of like... Well, shit, Jon Snow's going to meet the Queen of Dragons. Jon Snow is reunited with Tyrion. Yeah, because they had a, they hit it off quite well in the first season. If that was it, only the first episode, or was there a couple episodes? There was, uh, it was a few episodes, and it was when John was at the wall. Yeah, and Tyrion had been banished to the wall for a bit. Um, yes, he'd went. No, I don't think he was banished to the wall. I think he was accompanying for some reason. Oh, was he? I can't remember. Yeah, and they were they were only in a little bit, and um, they're both kind of like, you know, our fathers kind of don't like us. This sucks, and they got this little bit of a bond there. And it's interesting because straight away Tyrion says to Jon Snow, you know, I would advise you not to come. Aye. So who the fuck's advising you? Yeah. <laughs> and you see the Onion Knight trying to, like, game on uh, Miss Sandy. Ah, he is, isn't he? He was, eh? He was like, so, eh, uh, uh, Wenchlet. I can't place your accent. Your accent's awfully funny. Uh, <laughs> She's like, yes, well, it's from this place, blah, blah, blah. And her face just looked like, oh, great, another man trying to hit on me. Yeah. Well, I like men without penises, Yeah. so you're screwed. I kind of got pumped last night, but I didn't, because there was nothing to pump me with. But if there had been, I'd have been pumped last night. Beat it. 
onion night. Exactly, and that's pretty much what, that's what her face said to me. Oh, yeah, that, okay. Which just proves just how good of an actress she is because <laughs> she could convey all that emotion. And then we're, we're, we're sitting there and we're, we're looking at Daenerys on this, this throne, which the throne room is just sad. Yeah, well, dark. I, I think this was the original Targaryen homestead. Yeah. I think it's just been kind of abandoned and derelict. And then. But didn't that Stannis? Stannis used it. But I don't think it was like. It isn't the, Bar- the Baratheon home? I don't think so. I think he just put up a couple of flags up there. I feel like. Um. Oh, what was his name? The other Baratheon, the other Baratheon brother. I think he lived in the homestead. Renly. Renly. Yeah. I think he lived in the homestead. Right, that makes sense. Do you know when him and his his boyfriend were like making out or whatever? The guy from Iron Fist. Oh, was it? Was it Loras Tyrell that yeah, was yeah, yeah. with him? Right, okay. I just had this flashback to like... One of your wild nights out. One of my wild nights out and then me and this dude, no. Um, I had this flashback to um, my, uh, w- William Wallace, uh, Braveheart, Braveheart. Right. When the king comes in and finds his son with like... I don't know who, who it was another man oh, right, and he's like come here that. come and speak to me and then he just fucking launches him out the window <laughs> and I was always thinking that like someone I, I thought maybe Tywin would have really worked for it oh, but right, maybe that yeah. happened later on I, I, or like Robert comes in and just throws out Aye. throws the guy out the window or something mm-hmm. get out of here boy let's get some whores in here <laughs> <laughs> whores and boars yes whores and boars but Daenerys just looks I don't, I don't know, I really don't like the throne room and the, Dith- the Dothraki look distinctly not foreign. Mm. Like, tanned br- bro guy. Aye, uh, there was a... I did like this scene in a way because it was like John's always been quite placid, quite sort of, not submissive but quite easy going. And mm. then she's like bend the knee, he's like, no I'm not doing that. And he refused, absolutely refused to just play the game. Yeah, and he was like, "No, I am equal to you at the moment. You know, you may have a, a rightful heir to the throne or whatever, but you may be sitting on that bed. You need me as much as throne. I need you." Yeah, I liked uh, I like John's ceremonial armor. It's pretty cool, isn't it's pretty it? Pretty nice, yeah. What about his ceremonial introduction? Fat. I was about to say that. So we've got Daenerys Stormborn Targaryen, the one true queen of the Andals universe, and all this sort of stuff. The goes on for ages. The, the, the giver, the giver of freedoms, and the queen of the hordes of the death, of the Dothraki, and whatever. And it's like it's Jon Snow, it's King of the North. <laughs> <laughs> and I was actually, I was, and it's just the way they kind of stop and kind of look at each other a wee bit. Yeah, <laughs> just this little moment. It's brilliant. But then, then, um, Sir Davros. Davos. Davos. Or da- so Davos Seaworth. What's who's Davros then? And he's the uh, the Lord of the Daleks from. Doctor oh my Who. God, he actually is. Yeah. yeah, Sir Davos. I don't even watch Doctor Who, and I know that. Then goes into a big spiel about why Jon Snow is like a total lad. Aye. And yeah. you're like, oh yeah, Jon Snow's pretty cool. And actually. then he's, he, he gave he gave the game away. He was like, he uh, took a knife to the heart. He gave his life, and he's like, no, stop. That's enough. So that had her intrigued as well. Yeah. That. He's going to have to explain at some point, I think. I think they're going to fuck, eh? Probably. And, but then they're going to find the brother and sister. Are they brother and sister? I can't remember. It depends what theory you're listening to at the time. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, Rhaegar was... Was it Rhaegar was both their parents? Yeah, maybe. But then it works for Cersei and Jamie, so... It certainly does in this episode. Yep. Oh, yes. We'll get to that later. We'll also get to my new favourite character. Who's that? Euron Greyjoy! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, John basically... Does she like a wee finger in the bum hole? Uh, tell me later. Uh, 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 not now, tell me later. <laughs> and the way Jamie's absolutely... <laughs> oh, he was flaming at that. Like, that. whoever plays Euron is just... When he first came into it, I remember him being like kind of fat and oafish. Was he? Did he lose I, a whole I bunch of weight? I remember him when he first came in, to be perfectly honest with you. When he threw, he threw his brother over the bridge? Yeah, I don't remember. I was sure he was fat and oafish, but he was just like, he was just coming in there riding on the horse, pulling Lesbo one. What's Yara. The Yara. And uh, he's just like taking in the majesty. Uh, I, I, I could fantastic. I could what's that? I could um, get used to this or something like Yeah. That. And he's like, It's making me hard <laughs> And I say, So yeah, basically 
Um, so John and Daenerys kind of have a almost like a dicks out measuring contest. Pretty much, and Daenerys' dick's pretty big, I would say. And then Daenerys gets word of her fleet being destroyed. Yeah, it's like okay, so baths and dinner. <laughs> it's almost like they were kids. Eh? Yeah. Like, right. Supper time, off to bath, then bed, okay. Are mummy and daddy going to fight? <laughs> I was waiting for her to fucking go mental at Varys. Yeah. Like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> but Varys is like, yeah, so the fleet got destroyed and... He's, he's seen that coming. He knew. He's the one that's... He's the one. You called that straight up. He is the he's one. A <laughs> he's a heel. He's a heel. I've been thinking about it all week and it's just, it's the only reason... That scene where she attacks him for almost no reason and questions his loyalty and stuff, it's for one of two reasons, and it's it's a it's a time cost because you've got um, it, it could be to remind you that he's untrustworthy. Yep. So add a little bit of oh, could it be him? Yeah. I'm almost like almost, close by the windows. Yeah, I think it's probably the best. It's almost like a previously on Game of Thrones, Varys cannot be trusted. Yeah. Or. It's but within the universe of like totally meta. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's to throw you off the scent and think it's him, but actually it's like Missandei or Tyrion. Somebody. Because Tyrion. Tyrion. Tyrion's never been healed. And Tyrion's trying to get back in with his family, even though they're his family. Well, in theory, though. Because he loves Jamie. In theory, what's to stop Tyrion from trying to become the king? You know, if he takes out. Cersei, Jamie would fall in line. Jamie would be better suited to King, I think, than Tyrion. Who who would follow who would follow a small king? Uh, I don't mean that totally disrespectful, but you know what the people are like. Oh like they Would they really follow Jamie though? Jamie seem Jamie's cool and stuff, but he's not I don't find him to be too kingly. He's not commanding, he's not wise enough, he's He's basically a grunt. Yeah, he's a pretty cool grunt, you're right. I, I don't know, it's a strange one. Would they follow Tyrion? I, I don't think it's Tyrion. Not at all, actually. But that would be a big twist. That would be a big twist. But it would probably feel like a stunt twist. Yeah, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't play with how they've portrayed him for the last six, <laughs> or, six seasons. Yeah, but I mean... I also liked how he kind of said at some point in this episode... Um, when he was speaking to Jon Snow, um, I was drunk for the last little while. Which he was kind of, it was kind of, for me, that covered the last couple of seasons as to why he's not been really a focal point. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, a, that's true. A bit yeah. of a drunken bum. It's, I, I just love when he's like, uh, I came here to do some brooding. You're much better at it than I am. <laughs> much nicer looking, and all this kind of shit. <laughs> and then references The Walking Dead. Did he? Uh, did you not notice that? He called the White Walkers the Walking Dead. Did he? Aye, the Walking Dead army or coming or something like that. It was like, ha, just a silly thing. Anyway, we're, we're all over the place. We are. We've went a little bit forward there. So, I don't think we've, we've even actually got to King's Landing yet because Varys and Melisandre have a little chat. And what did they... Atop a mountain. Oh, yeah. And, she and there's a little bit of um, verbal sure. sparring there. Yes. And she's kind of like, Listen, Varys, you can be as smart as you like, but I'm coming back here to die in this place, the same as you. Yeah, she said to him he'll die in Westeros, but that's... People are reading into that quite a lot. That's like saying to me, I'll die in Scotland. There is a high, high chance I'm going to peg it in here, because it's where I'm at. You know, it's the same as saying most accidents happen in the home. Where do you spend most of your time? At work. Yeah, but... I work, I work from home. <laughs> Works tend to have a stricter health and safety process in place. It's true. Whereas upturned plugs happen a lot, or bits of Lego happen a lot Are at people home. people being pissed on their own? Yes, you, you're not pissed at work so often as you are at home. No, you... Presumably not. No. In theory. But yeah, so that kind of happens, and then we get to Euron parading through the streets, as far as my memory serves in, in yes. ep- terms of the order of the episode. I can't remember the order of the episode. I watched it on Monday night. Right, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure it's, then it's Euron, okay? Yep. Um, he's parading through the streets, just absolutely loving the adulation. Just an absolute pimp. He's got, what's her name? Yara. Yara and the uh, 
the spider sister and uh, yeah Tyena Sand and Ilaria Sand so he's got the lesbian and the two Spanish birds mm-hmm. and he's dragging them across <laughs> through the streets and presents them to Cersei as a gift yes. which is fantastically fitting because obviously I'm going to need to write their names down or, <laughs> or, in fact you know maybe I'm going to pull up something yep. so I can actually see the people's names because for some reason, I just can't remember their fucking names. Oh, we also seen Theon getting hauled out of the river by well, hauled maybe... out of the ocean. By oh that, yes, that, that might have or- that might have already happened. But they're they're very aware that um, he's a fucking pussy. Yes, they're like if you tried, you'd be dead, and that so. Which is a fair point. I would have said like he threw me over to die a shameful death. You know, Theon. That's what I would have said to them. I would have mm. said that I tried to fight him and then. They bested me and threw me over. But then who's going to buy it? Because he's known for being a fucking bitch. But <laughs> the thing with Theon is he's a survivor. For some reason he, he is. He's like a cockroach, isn't he? Just he keeps just on going, died. yeah. He's very unlikable, isn't he? He goes through phases. Because you, you, like you didn't like him as Theon Greyjoy in Winterfell, you know, when he was just shagging and fighting and whatever. And then he, he betrays Rob, tries to take over Winterfell. Um kills Sir Roderick who beheads him it takes him like three attempts or something swinging the sword um, oh yeah and everyone's laughing at him yeah he's just he's like the biggest failure of be trying to be a super hard man yeah. ever and then he gets captured by Ramsay yes and becomes Reek and you feel bad for him at that point so but, but, do you know what I didn't feel that bad for him did you know I felt no. bad for him and also, like, for me, I like villains. So I'm thinking, oh, it'd be cool to play uh, Ramsay and just really explore that sort of area, you know, of being an absolute cunt. This is not going to do it for yeah. me either. Fucking so, shit. Sorry, guys, anyway, I'm not going to know the Euron, names people. Euron brings Ilaria and Tyena to Cersei and basically says, now I want you. And she's like, you will have your heart's desire when the war is won. He's he's totally dejected, but then he hits up Jamie with the, you know... Does she like a finger up the bum? <laughs> which is just fantastic. Just the sheer kind of affrontedness that Jamie shows. Yeah. He's just he, like, he's oh, raging. Oh, 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 no, not here, not here, later, later. It's fine, yeah, brother, yeah. it's fine. But it's quite cool because she's kind of said, Jamie is the the general of our, of our ground forces, and Euron is going to be the general of our, our sea forces. Mm-hmm. And you're kind of like, fuck, she's got like two fucking generals she's got the mountain there you know it's pretty sweet and these guys it puts them at an even peg in terms of in, there's that whole like military or navy or air force kind of argument you know mm-hmm. especially if you've seen the BFG yeah. the cartoon um, you know never seen that uh, years ago I don't remember it yeah the, the queen brings in like the military air force and the, the navy and they're all standing there arguing about who's got the better Oh, potential right, to okay. attack the giants uh, um, so I'm kind of thinking that's going to be sweet just having them two argue in the war room over what strategy is going to be best and who's more important I think Jamie's going to kill Euron yeah I and think then he, the I, first opportunity Euron's getting a sword through the throat I think he's getting his face powered in with a golden golden oh, hand that would be so just, sweet just poof, poof, until it's poof, just utterly just mush. mush yeah and I think Euron will be laughing in his face the whole time and saying things like I fucked her anyway mm. he's, um, he's the new he's the new Robert Baratheon <laughs> he's like young whores and boars whores and boars <laughs> um, so yeah then we go to the, the basement of the Red Keep but before we do go there do we right. before we go there mm-hmm. we uh, get treated to Cersei doing one of at least four people's eyebrows <laughs> in the episode and looking distinctly like a Vulcan with that haircut Yes. When she does it, mm-hmm. I was just like, "Is this? Am I actually seeing this?" With her, like she's like she's got like a Lego hairstyle, like the, the yeah, yeah, it's actually yeah, it's quite quite square and bulk up. I would think it would be slicked back because that would still look like her old hair. Mm-hmm. I suppose it's designed to. I make liked it. it when she had her long blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, move on. Move so on. yeah, we end up in the basement of the Red Keep. And we get into the Queen's Justice. So she's got Elaria chained up at one side. Was that suddenly then? 
think so. I can't remember. But okay, let's go with it. Let's go with it. We can't remember the order. We'll just talk about it anyway. I know um, it's fun for me, but yeah. it's not for you, so I'll stop. Um, and she's got them chained up on opposite sides of a wall with each other, and she's just basically taunting Hilaria um, about Oberyn's death, nothing else. You know, the, the sound of his skull caving in, the sound of her scream. She's right, though. Oberyn was a, a braggadocious bastard, and yeah. if, see, if he'd, he had the mountain done, he could have just stayed away. He, I had no sympathy for him. No, it's... Because he fucked up. I remember, I still remember watching that episode and just like, oh my god, oh my god. And then when he puts the thumbs in the eyes and the eyes start bleeding. That was horrid. And that was like, it's over. It's it's actually over. And then he obviously squashes his head to a million bits and I was... Well, I thought he was just going to leave him blind, but just, I, just blew his head no, up. No, it's a mountain, he's, he's a killer, you know. He burnt his own brother. Yeah. Um, and it was just, I was watching it at work. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant sorry yeah I had it on Sky Go and I'm like oh my the thing is no one else had seen it no one else I talked to had seen it yet oh my gosh and so I'm you're like, sitting there like oh it was the first time that was the first episode where I'd actually caught up to what was that like being shown at the time because I was late to the party was that like episode 8 or 9 of season 4 9 9 four, yeah the mountain and the viper <sighs> it's just ingrained in the brain so, Apparently but anyway, so. she she taunts him about it, and then she does what a, uh, Elena did to Marcella. Yeah, so I forgot that that's how she died. I knew she was poisoned, but I forgot like when she kisses her at the start of the episode in the recap. I was like, okay, that's totally hard. Yeah. <laughs> and then when Cersei kisses uh, Tyene, I was like, is she gonna like? Les her up or something in front of her mother is that what mm-hmm. oh and then she, she clicked yeah, to me yeah Italian knew straight away and she's like mom, and it's too late yeah so the long kiss goodnight is that what it's called I, like I that? don't know Queen's Justice I'm gonna call it but uh, she did call it something didn't she it's something like that yeah I I, I like her, her, her I don't know if he's a maester I suppose he is isn't he seems more like Clyburn. a black with all his black magic yeah so he apparently reverse engineered the poison from Marcella's corpse. Which is pretty sweet. Yeah. And then you see the two of them trying to to get close to each other. Uh huh. And they're just held back and there's I mean that's crazy to think that you're that close to someone. The faces are probably about they're probably closer than our faces are right now, and obviously we're kinda of sitting close into the mic. Mm-hmm. Um their faces are probably closer than this, but they cannot get any closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, that's uh, and they can't speak either. No, and Cersei says that she wants her to watch her daughter die a slow, painful death. Mm-hmm. But worse still, just watch her decompose in front of her. Yep. Like, and she just explains it so calmly. Mm-hmm. Like, Cersei is sick. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's possibly one of the worst things a parent could ever witness. It's got to be, right? Yeah. It's got to be. Um, and she's even like... Refresh the torches every two hours. Ah, uh, so the just fantastic stuff. And then she goes off and does our brother. Yeah, she just she's like, oh wow, that was great. I am well in the mood now. Yep. And uh, she just walks right in and starts starts on. blowing Jamie. Mm-hmm. And I think he got a finger up the bum as well. Probably because she grabbed his cheeks and yeah. I was like, oh, I think she's gonna go for one of those. <laughs> It'll be a good time. I thought. Jamie was going to push her off and say, oh, "No." There was a there was a moment was hesitation there, yeah, wasn't there? There was, and then he realised he's a guy. Well, this is what I was having this conversation with someone today, right? Have you ever seen Basic Instinct? No. Okay, I'm going to make this one quick though. Right. Okay. So men are what are you doing? Nothing. Carry on. Okay. Men are even the smartest man. If there's a woman he desires. His dick is going to take over and he will just not be able to fight it. It just... It, 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 fight with it. Sword fight. Well, whom, in basic instinct, whom. do you understand, do you know the premise of it? Do you know what it's about or anything? Basically, Michael Douglas plays a cop who's investigating Sharon Stone's potential murderess and right. serial murderess, right? Yep. And he, all the time he's saying to his pal, he's like, 
yeah, it's cool, horse. I got this one. I know, I know that she's the killer. I know she did this. I know she did that. I'm, I'm totally fine. I know she's going to try and seduce me. I've got this. Every time he sees her, puppy dog eyes, pumps fucking her. pumps her, tells her he's in love with her. She's like, pff, laughs in his face, and he's just like, what, 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 what's with that? You know, he's a totally bitch by her, by her. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and some girls just have that effect on a guy. And in this situation, Jamie knows. And we we have that conversation at the end of the episode, but he's got to accept her for who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, but he he feels like he's a good man, and he, he is now. a lot better now than he was when he started. He was a total asshole, but I think all his like assholery was in his right hand. When that got chopped off, he was freed from the assholery. Yeah, well, I think it's the, just the sheer arrogance of being a, a rich, privileged person. Yeah, coupled with. The fact that he basically saved, quote-unquote, the kingdom yep, by murdering the Mad King. What are mm-hmm. you looking at? Nothing. Um, so I, I think that he was just super arrogant, the whole thing. And he needed to have a loss. He'd mm-hmm. never lost before, I don't think, ever. And that was what broke him down and brought him in. And I don't even he think he became... even lost a fight. No, I mean... He needed to be taught again. Braun had to teach him how to fight again. Yeah. With his other hand. Which will be good when we get to some actual Braun action. We've seen Braun. We saw him we briefly at the end, Braun. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking forward to the banter. Yeah. So I, th- I couldn't even remember how he got out of the jail cell. Oh, I, saw, I can't remember either. It was the same time the Sands got out, was it not? Yeah. Um, but the Sands weren't actually in jail. Yeah, they were. They, they were, were in pending, the opposite. No? They were no. They were in the opposite. Um, no, I know, they were, I know they were in the the, the opposite cell. P- cell. But were they not pretending to be in it so they could fuck about with him or something? I can't remember. I don't think so. Because um, they were. Were they not on their land? Can't so why would they be in jail? I can't. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm sure I didn't didn't like. They all kind of mess about with them and then went over and kissed them, and then he was going to die potentially, yeah, and she then got his heart rate going. Yeah, and then she like just fucked off. Yeah, and he's like, "I'm sure they just walked out of the cell. Like the door's not locked." No, <laughs> probably. I honestly can't remember. Neither can I. Well, you, someone's going to remind us on that one. You know. Yeah. Um, I think it was more of a diplomatic thing. They let them go, and then when they were letting them go, Marcella got kissed. That was it. Yeah, that was it. You're correct. So they pump. She basically just lets one of the. The servants see that they've been pumping and says, "Who's got who's got the new fashionable Cersei haircut?" Apparently, in the yes, land, and says, "We need clean sheets just to really like drive the point home, so to speak." So, then we go back to Dragonstone, I believe. I and, do believe that is the case. And you see John brooding. You see Tyrion saying, "I'm here to brood." Um, that's a good Tyrion. Uh, thank you. And then um, John's basically talking about the the White Walkers problem and the. The dragon glass and all this kind of stuff. Um, Tyrion then brokers, or does a bit of inception and speaks to Daenerys about the dragon glass, and then Daenerys speaks to John and then says, "You know, you can have the dragon glass." He's like the good guy version of Varys and Peter Baelish, in a lot of ways. Tyrion. Yeah. 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 It says maybe his his role in it is polar opposite to try and balance out. I like Baelish, but I don't trust him. No, Baelish, Baelish always seems evil. Varys kind of did flip-flops. Yeah, Varys is like neutral and Tyrion's always like good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're all, three of them are, are learned and they're not fighters, realistically. So, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Um, what, what I find funny is, they're like, an army of undead? Ha! <laughs> How preposterous! Oh, there's my dragons. Yeah, I like, know. What the fuck? I know, I know, it's crazy, you know, it's a... Uh... Like, Dathraki have crossed sea in a fucking ship. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that you've done, Daenerys. The world's gone to fuck. And you don't believe that there could be an army of mm-hmm. undead monsters when you've, you've, you've flown on a dragon across the lands. Yes, exactly. That, that's what happened, you know, so... Now, Daenerys started out to be a little bit annoying in this episode, but I found her... To be to get better as time went on. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she's she puts on a front, but she can't maintain it because she is 
still apparently a nice person. Yeah. You know, so and it comes across and she's like, you know what, you can have the dragon glass. Um, and my guys will mine it for you. Yes, and we'll help you with that. Which is pretty sound, actually. I, it's the middle ground, in a way, because he's saying there's a fight, the White Walkers are coming, blah, 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 blah. She's like, Pfft. But then she's like, look, I'm not going to join this fight, but I'll give you equipment if you're going to go off and do the fighting. She's basically thinking, when I'm king of the, the queen of the seven kingdoms, I want to have all my kingdoms, so you yeah, know, you and protect the north. Even if, 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 even if he is not bending the knee, that's not to say he wouldn't do it later on. Like I think they both need to trust each other. Jon Snow will bend the knee to her as a sign of respect at some point. Mm-hmm. That's how it will go. I thought he was going to do it when she gave him the dragon glass, but then I was like, nah, they're going to, need to save this a little bit yeah. later on this in the season, maybe even next season. Um, I was surprising that her people are going to be mining for dragon glass when her forces are spread so thinly. Yeah. I know, it was a bit... But, hey, it's going to aid the I war. I think she's going... I, I think Daenerys is fucked up a little bit. She, she should have taken all the armies... by the Lannisters. All the armies, all the dragons went straight in there and sacked the entire place. Mm-hmm. Just taken but it by Queen force. Queen of the Ashes, like they were saying, they don't want that. Well... They were trying to be smart about it, but yeah, that's, but, that's maybe their downfall. But who says, Queen of the Ashes, right, fine, Westeros is dead to her. Rebuild. New kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's that. So they've got some kind of working relationship going for the moment. Which is good for for both. And then I think we go up to see Sansa. Yes. But just generally Michael. bossing people around for no reason. And she's doing okay with it. She's planning ahead. She's being smart and collected about it. People are agreeing with what she's doing. Um... Someone asked what was with the Littlefinger's uh, coked up speech. Because out of nowhere, uh, this is after he tried to tell her that Cersei was dangerous. And she's like, well, I kind of fucking know that. Yeah. She's killed half my family, you know. Uh, she was my mother-in-law at one point. Uh, and just suddenly she suddenly started listening to him. Yeah, and then, well, that's the thing. He suddenly says, fight every battle. Uh, everywhere, always in your mind. Everyone is your enemy. Everyone is your friend. Every possible series of events is happening all at once, right? So it's like that's how I do it. That was in the trailer. Where? That was in one of the trailers. I'm sure of it. I've heard it before. Huh. Um. So suddenly, it's like Lady Sansa, the gates. And <laughs> if that was me, I'd be like, "Go and fucking speak to me in a sentence. Go and ask me." please may you come to the gates or please can you accompany me to the gates or would you like to come and see what's at the gates waiting for you it's Lady Sands at the gates or something like that eh? I would have had him beheaded for speaking to me that way actually yeah exactly um, but it gets worse and I'm like oh there's Arya oh no it's not it's not it's the brand droid that's my name for him That's he's got some good acting huh is it, uh, it's tough because is it the acting or is it Character he's given. Yeah, no, I. Like, could you be actually, more like a robot, do you think? Uh, okay. I can try. It was a real shame what happened to you, Sansa. You looked so beautiful as I watched you get raped in my mind over and over again. That was fucking uncomfortable. That was weird, because that was basically what he was doing. He was basically. I want to like, borrow the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Season 3 episode. I don't know where it was. The. Go speak to Reek. He witnessed the whole thing. I don't know why Reek makes that sound, but now he does. Yeah. Bran tries to explain his role as the Three-Eyed Raven. She hasn't got a fucking clue what's going on. I'm the Three-Eyed Raven, but someone else... Like, it's not that hard. When he's like, it's really complicated to explain. I'm like, no, it's not. And he keeps looking at this tree with like the really fake-ass fucking shape on it that's blatantly going to open up into being eyes. Did you see that, yeah? The what? There's a tree beside Bran mm-hmm. that's got a face in it. Yeah, yeah. The eyes are obviously going to open up at some point and you think the tree's so? going to start speaking. Yes, absolutely. Because I think the, it whole, looks the whole point of shit. that is that it bleeds. Like in the first series, the eyes bled at certain oh, did it? points when like the seven, I can't remember. Lovely, them. lovely set piece. Like like the sheer white with the red leaves. Beautiful. Yeah, that's where you see the kids oh, look, for the first time. Hark! Can you hear the sluts? Oh, is that them being kicked out of the pubs? That's the, the the long journey from the pub to the club. Ah, uh, okay. And the, I'm drunk, I must shout about it so everyone knows that I'm drunk. Amazing. They must have heard you. 
Yeah, they, they've gone they, pretty silent. They, they fucking should. So, so yeah, Bran, Bran just kind of fucking put a, a downer on the whole thing. Yeah, it should have been a happy reunion. He should have at least taken a moment off his job. Didn't even job. hug her back. No, he, he could have taken a minute from his job to celebrate the fact he'd just been reunited with his sister. Maybe because he's processing information constantly. That's He's fighting every battle, everywhere. Well, he's always seeing every reality. Yeah. I think he's on DMT. Yeah. Yeah. I still think there's going to be a moment where Ned Stark's beheading and you see Bran standing there. Like, because there was a moment in Ned Stark's beheading where he looks at a statue but there's nothing there. Oh, yes. I think we're going to... I'd love to see just going back... You think it's wee Bran? And Bran will be standing there and Ned will just see him for a second. And that's... that's I think. That How's he going to recognise Bran to be like a 17-year-old kid when he knew he was like an 8-year-old? Yeah, he still looks the same. I suppose. Reason. I think Bran looks like the Night King. The Night King. You think he's the Night King? I, I think it's a possibility. But, but he's the he's he's the three eyed raven. He's yeah. So there's also Max the possibility Cena. that he is that man in the future. Well, that's what I I I I I've always I thought that was. I, I, I thought that was the, the fact. In one of the clips I've seen, the Night King looked a lot like Bran. But I thought he was Max von Sydow. Maybe, but maybe the timeline's been altered. Max von Sydow somehow is, comes back in time to this time to meet his previous self. Maybe. Like that's what I assumed, and I also assumed that. I th- like I didn't sorry I didn't assume that I thought that was fact. Is it fact? I thought it was. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought I seen a clip of the Night King in one of the trailers, and I thought he actually kind of looks like Bran. <laughs> he actually does look like Bran. Mhm. And I thought, is that a deliberate thing on their part? To... But isn't I, I don't isn't know. the king meant to be someone else anyway? The Night King. Yeah. You seen who was made the first White Walker. It but was by the was Nymphs. Maybe not necessarily the Night King though. Was he? I can't remember. But surely if you were the first of something, would you not be the king? Not would necessarily. You... If someone was better at it. No, but if you may like Or they killed me. Well, yeah, but if you're making other White Walkers, are you really gonna be like, Do you know what? I think you're the guy for the job, not me. Possibly. I'm the king of the White Walkers. I made you all motherfuckers. No? But maybe he got killed, but then that adds a whole extra wh- wh- who killed him and wh- why situation. But it's interesting. Maybe when Max von Sydow dies, he becomes the... No, because we've already just said... It's, uh, it's, it's messy, isn't it? Hmm. So, yeah. It's just hard to remember it all. Brandroid comes back and everyone's so excited about it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Nice. Brandroid. Um, if he was the white... If he was the the Night King, Night King, that'd be pretty sweet. If he's just sitting there the whole time, and then suddenly he just comes up with, "But I'm the Night King," and everyone's like, "What?" He's like, <laughs> "Stop! Stop! 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 John, stop! 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 Stop!" Have we seen? The I'm Night... not gonna feel that in my legs. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Have we seen the Night King, King actually walk, or he's always been on a horse? You see him walk when they're leaving hard home. He's on his feet. He's like eyeballing John as John's oh, yeah. getting away, but. If you can turn into a Night King, you can fix your legs. Ah, you know? uh, yeah, no, take. See, I, if he, if you never saw him walk, I would be buying this theory. When Bran is wargan into like other things, and he, he was doing this one time, and the Night King just suddenly stopped and looked at him. Oh yeah, maybe that was Bran, and he couldn't actually see him. He just knew he was there at that given point in time. Anyway, I'm in there. I'm gonna keep my no, me out. Someone else is the Night King. Uh, can you can you pull that up? No, because I'll mess up with it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look then while you do the talking for the next. Well, I'll, I'll do the next part. So we'll come back to the Night King thing. But next, we're at the Citadel, huh. and Archmaster Marwyn is impressed with Sam. Oh yeah, we're with uh, Sir Jorah, Grandpa Sexy. Yeah, it's Jim Broadbent. Yeah, and uh, Sam has healed Jorah. Um, so he, it's it's not exactly like huh touching you with a stick mhm yep um think, yep you're fine you're not infectious anymore cool let's go for it well, like, I think the stone, that's not much checking yeah but I think the stone scale or whatever it's called is visible like if it's an infected area it's visible like if you've got a cut and it gets infected you can see ooh that's looking a bit dirty that's looking a bit yellow who is the Night King? First thing that comes up on my list of things I could ask for. 
because Google fucking knows the things I like. <laughs> Who is the Ninth King? 13th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Portrayed by Richard Brake. Who is the Night King? There we go. Sorry, keep going. So, keep yeah, going. yeah, yeah, that's probably. Um, so. Did you smug me off? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jorah's healed. Sam gets dragged into the Maester's office um, after forming some kind of little friendship with Jorah. Um, and the Maester's like, Yes, I am actually quite impressed. Come over here. You're still getting punished for disobeying my orders. And that, that's the Night King is the leader and the first of the White Walkers, having existed since the age of the First Men. By extension, he is also the master of the Wits, which I think is the the girls, the wee nymphs. And uh, Leaf turns a, fir- a first man into the Night King. There we go. Yeah, yeah, so that was that. So but, he's the Night King. Right. Fair enough. Um, so then we've got the... The Unsullied Invasion of Casterly Rock. That That's up next. Oh yes, is that already that time? Yeah, it's up to there. Um, so you see it happening twice, which I didn't... I, I thought this is what was happening, but I wasn't 100% sure. It happens twice. So the first time you see it happening... It's turning, is turning explaining and saying, this what is we how won't it do. could have been. And you see, and I'm sure it's Grey Worm you see actually dying. Yeah. Yeah, you see him falling and dying. Second time... You see them uh, going down the sneaky route and basically infiltrating from inside out and then all flooding in. Shagger's Cave. Yes, Shagger's Cave and taking over Castle That's on the map, up. by the way. What's that? It's on the map of... Uh, of what, Shagger's Cave? Is yeah. that what they call it? Do, 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 Shagger's Cave. Pops <laughs> up. Yeah. Um, so, basically, they they win and then they realise... Grey was like, where's the rest of the army? Yes. With all the armor and the weapons, and then he looks over and he sees that all his ships are getting fucking destroyed by yep. Euron's fleet, and you're like, "God damn, that Euron's good." Yeah. But how did you not notice all those ships? But if Euron comes onto land, it's a different game, because the Unsullied have the advantage, and they're probably a stronger ground army. Well, so you can cut their nipples off. Euron's gonna turn around and run. He's not gonna fight them, but they are stuck. Is he though? Because Euron seems pretty mental. He's not going to... He's mental, but... And he seems quite aggressive. Yeah, he's not stupid, though. He's got the advantage at sea. But he falls his dick. Yeah, and his dick isn't going to go after Grey Worm. Hmm. Maybe not. Because Grey Worm might steal it for his own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you see... Munich jokes. <laughs> then we get to the final scene. Oh yeah, so they're like, where's the where's the army? So our our armada's getting decimated again. So I don't know what ships Daenerys has got left. Personally, I think she's got Drogon, Rhaegar, and whatever the other one was. Seriously, like she's got fucking hee haw. Mm-hmm. Although when they were having the the talk in the war room, her and uh, Tyrion, I'm not sure why she wouldn't just swoop in with her dragons real quick. Mm-hmm. What she needs burn is- a couple of ships. Yeah, well, just take out a couple and sneak off again. Yeah. That's sometimes how I would play Halo. I'd be like, I'm fucked, I'm, I'm totally surrounded. Peek out, take out a couple, hide again. Yeah. You know, recharge the shield and peek out, take out a couple more. Well, exactly. I mean, yeah, you'll get shot with an arrow, but you've got to get pretty close to the arrow to work. Mm-hmm. You know? She can at least command her dragon to stay back a little bit. One poison-tipped arrow, though, that could be a difference. Bit of Queen's Justice in the dragon. Don't know how that would work. Also, something else they mentioned in the show. She said that people hadn't seen dragons for thousands of years. Mm-hmm. But I thought the Mad King had a dragon. I don't know. Did he? I thought he just set fire to lots of things and burnt lots of people. I thought he had a dragon. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway. So the last scene. High Garden. High Garden. So we're at, uh, finally, I think this is the first time we've seen where the Tyrells come from the High Garden oh well, we've been to High Garden before have we? yeah yeah for oh, sure okay. we've had quite a few meetings with of the actual castle though or was it just in the actual gardens I'm sure it was just in the actual gardens oh you could be right with that actually um, but there's nothing really goes on here you see the, the Lannister army approaching it felt like this episode they were like 
okay, let's not have too big a fight scene for either of these so we can save money for the big one later. Yeah. So they basically didn't even have a fight scene for this. They just had people lying about, which is a really smart way to do it. It just it cuts out the unnecessary because they're, they're getting down to a limited number of episodes. Like how often do you need to see people, like different armies, people you don't care about Plus, get killed? We've just, technically, we've just come out of, like, we're only four or five episodes after the Battle of the Bastards, which was fucking huge. You know, in terms of, like, people on people slaughter and, like, numbers and that. So we don't And we're on episode three of seven or yes, eight. Seven. There's only five more to go. We've only got five weeks of this left. And I was saying, four. like, is it not eight, eight I'm episodes? I'm sure there's only seven episodes. Uh, right. You might be right. I'm sure there's only seven. Either way, we've not got long. No. And it's like, when we first started this, I thought, oh, I can't be fucked with Game of Thrones. But now I'm like, oh. See, for season eight, mm-hmm. I'm going to rewatch it all. It might not be out till 2019. Really? Yep. <gasps> I know. Oh. It, it's it's, it's rumoured. It's like a it's like a DC news camp but, at the moment. But, you know, but I signed on. Oh well, there you go. Who are you gonna be like, Cal Jodo? Yeah. No, I'm the the prophesized one. Ah, uh, okay. The buggy. Eh? Yeah. The buggy. That's that's your character name. Okay. Cal buggy. Cal buggy. Yeah. I don't get I don't get it, but. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone can make a Cal buggy uh, meme, that'd be good. Yeah. Just score the F's and the K out of Buff Geek. And you've got his name. Oh! <laughs> Fucking spoon feeding that, man. Or maybe just that I don't get shit jokes. <laughs> Buggy. I just made it up. Yeah, that's probably the. Yeah. So, uh, no real battle, like we say, but. The battle of words. Yes, this final scene basically is the reason I almost can't remember anything else about the, the episode. Really? You thought this final scene was that good? I really enjoyed it. I thought... I, I like Olena Tyrell. I've always liked her. I think she's brilliant. Like, just a straight-talking old woman. You know, and I was really, really apprehensive about how she was going to die. Because I, I honestly didn't want to see her taken out with a sword. Didn't want to see it. And I, I wasn't sure they were going to Why not? Me. Because I like her. Not because she's an old woman. Though. Well, there's that as well, but it's just because the same like, way I don't want to see Ned Stark's head come off his shoulders. Game of Thrones season two, <coughs> they're yeah. cutting her. They're they're cutting her in half with a sword. The mountains chopping her in half with a fucking giant. What what's Cloud Sword called? Buster Sword. A giant Buster Sword. Who does he cut in half? No, this is like no like. The, oh, if this had been season two. If this had been season two, but they, I think they fucking pushed out. I by giving her the poison. I think they gave her a, a dignified death. Yeah, they, and I think it, it also showed Jamie's face side as well. That's true. This is him. He's a nice guy now. He didn't want this woman to suffer. Well, and, you'd see the way he was walking into her room like, oh, I better go and do my job now and oh, kill an old woman. and yeah. so This is what I've got to do and... I meant to be the the king slayer, and now I'm going to go kill this old woman and yep. fuck him out. I tell you, one bit I did like um, was well, there was a lot of battle of wits going on, but there was one point where she says, "What was the name of that sword, Joffrey's sword?" And he's like, "The widow's wail," and then she's like, "Yes, he really was a cunt, wasn't he?" I just fucking love that, but <laughs> such British banter that the Americans just wouldn't go with, you know? Yeah, ah, uh, just things like that. It's so good. Um, so at the end. Her yep. revelation. Uh huh. Was it really a revelation? Because I thought it no, was. I we, thought it was revealed to be that anyway. I think she intimated it a few times that she would do anything to protect her family, but she never confessed to it. And as far as they were concerned, like Jamie didn't know who it was because he didn't believe it was Tyrion. Oh, Cersei, Cersei did though, didn't she? I don't know if she knew Tyrion or or Sansa. She thought it was Tyrion or Sansa, yeah, but we knew it was Elena. But this was Jamie finding out it was not Tyrion, basically. Ah, okay. For definite, and that, like everything has happened. So the loss of Tywin, Tyrion running off, becoming the hand, of, it's all come back to this poisoning. Oh, actually, yes, of course it would have. Most of what's I happened. I miss Tywin. Now, he was good. This would this shit would not be going down if Tywin was still no, in charge. No, th- this is the thing. This is what they say at the start of the episode. We're all just children playing. So that was the last of the older generation going. That's the last sort of parent that I can think of from the main players. 
Ned's gone. Tywin's gone. Elena's now gone, although she has no kids anymore. Anyway, the Tyrells are killed off. You know, a lot of kids have got are quite a bit older now. Mm, the t- the Targaryens are. Uh, there's only gone. one. Yeah, so it is. It's all the kids playing the adults' game now, basically. But they're not even playing the adults' game. They're playing the Night King's game. How? I thought that's what they were alluding to when they were saying when they made that comment. Which comments are? Oh yeah, that point. Yeah, we're all playing. We're all kiddies playing an adults' game while he's marching on or whatever. Um, but they're all just thrashing about wildly, I think. And I, I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if they all unified against the White Walkers. I wouldn't like it. Be uneasy. <coughs> well, you think end. you think Cersei will join with? Maybe not Cersei. Maybe she has to be out the picture. But the Lannisters, the Targaryens, all suddenly realizing, look, we've got a serious threat. Well, that would work because we've already got Tyrion, who could be the sort of head of the Lannisters, right? I kind of feel like Jamie will live on. Yeah. I kind of feel like more like Jamie's going to not die now. I was always saying that Cersei would poison him and he would have to kill her. Mm-hmm. But I kind of feel like maybe they won't go with that now. Um, But Tyrion's there. I feel like Daenerys might die. I don't know I think she'll end up on the throne I think that's that's where it's pushing that's the end you know what I did like was when someone uh, Melisandre I never said this earlier called uh, John and Daenerys Fire and Ice Mm -hmm. she's like I brought because the first book was called A Song of Fire and Ice yeah yeah so to me it's like this is their story when she said that I suppose it could be, yeah. That's, that's what it said to me. But anyway, sorry, that was, that was besides the point. So what do you think of this episode? I realise we didn't actually rate the last one either. Did we not? We no, don't we need don't. to. We just need to talk about it and enjoy it. Fair enough. And see what other people think. <coughs> I, did, I did think this was a good episode. I'm not going to give it a score. Because um, it's it's just carrying on the story nicely. They are. They seem to have learnt their lesson from season six. You know, there's no awkward... Terry and Grey Worm Miss Andy scenes or anything like that. Or random farting scenes. Or yeah. Like. Yeah, it's just... It's almost like pure story now. And the the the, the thing they've been doing in all of the episodes is kind of... You know, when he's, he's, he's picking off the scabs and you're going into a pie. What's that called? So, cinema, cinematography? cinematography? Yeah. Is that what it's called? I don't know. There must be a te- name for that technique of doing something and then, like... You pull back and you're somewhere else. It's showing that everything's happening at the same time. And the way that Peter Baelish explained it to Sansa is actually, you know, every, everything's happening at the same time and nothing's happening. You know, yeah. it's like, actually, because I saw some memes of like, with the White Walkers, like, oh, it's cool, we'll just wait till you guys are ready. But actually, all this stuff is happening right fucking now. Like, yeah. This is all happening within the space of a week. Like, Which is a point that was raised this week was the fact that the Lannister army can get to Highgarden like that in one episode, but the Night's wa- the Night Walkers have been taking forever. The White Walkers have just been walking for episodes and episodes and episodes, and not reached anything yet. But then the, I suppose the Wall is what five hundred miles long or something like that. Yeah, and They've also got a lot of ground to cover. They're, they're walking at a pretty slow pace. Yeah, this is true. You know, you're not riding on a horse. No, at a, a reasonable. <coughs> you know, speed of knots, no. or they're not sailing on a ship. Like it takes them longer to get to places. So what 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 thoughts have you got coming out of this episode? Then, what's your main sort of thoughts? Mine says the shitstorm that Jamie's going to kick up when he gets back to King's Landing. Well, I I thought it was quite cool that she she was the one that killed Joffrey. Yeah. You know, that's totally, totally confirmed. Yeah, yeah, she's just totally confessed it. But what what was even cooler was the way that Jamie took it. He resisted the urge to strike her down. Yes. Mm-hmm. He just walked out on her. Yeah. And he's it's kind of like, you bitter old woman. Mm-hmm. Like, almost as pity for her, mm-hmm. in a way. Like, you've had to do all these horrible things. And she's trying to convince him that Cersei's a bad person. And it's like, do you know what, motherfucker? When a man loves a woman... You know, it'd be, it'd be kind of funny, as if she's sitting there and she's like, right, I'm going to go lie down, I'm going to get, you know, go die comfy or whatever, lying down for ages, and then like, 
that wasn't poison at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's just waiting to die and it's never happening. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> you see her like three episodes later going, starting to think it wasn't poison. <laughs> that pussy. <laughs> yeah. What did he give me? <laughs> Fart jokes, there you go. Fart jokes. And she shits there. the bed. <laughs> Great. Great. Where do you think Sir Jorah's going to go? He's going to find Daenerys. He's going back to Dragonstone. He's going straight there, eh? Yeah. And then his connection to Mormon and oh, Sam will help strengthen John. Well, he'll tell you know, Daenerys' it'll, it'll, relationship. Yeah, because he's going to confirm this is what you need. Yeah. Um, now, did Daenerys kind of insinuate that he would get a ride in if, she came, if he came back cured? Mm, don't think so. I, no, she like is, a pity riding. I don't know. I don't think she does pity ridings. Remember, she's been raped, plundered, and pillaged on a few occasions. I don't think she would do it just for pity. But he went would and found the cure. Would you fuck someone who had dragon stone, even if they got dragon skin, stone skin, even if they got cured? Because I certainly wouldn't. She's the mother of dragons, the giving one. <laughs> the no, I think she basically said, you know, if you want to serve by my side again, you need to be cured first. Can I want Jora to score? No, no, it's, it's, it's too different. He's got the, the rugged older man kind of thing, but I don't know, she's just elevated her I want status his, in recent I want episodes. his unrequited love to be requited. Then where's the, where's the story in that? Where's the hook in that? Suddenly he's lost his purpose because he, he's finally got some. Hmm. But he'll definitely die serving his queen and he'll die smiling. True. I True. think. That's, it's, it's quite a good honour. Mm-hmm. Especially, if, you know, he just wants to be near her. That's all he wants now. He, he kind of knows he's never going to get what he wants. But what's with the old guys loving the young, hot ones? Like Baelish going for Sansa. Um, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, I was going to say, like, maybe, maybe you need to ex- <laughs> let's explain to you because you went and got married to someone who's a your your age. Yep, very much. But, you know, my partner's six years my junior. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Um, and your next one will be seven or eight years. Eight or eight or ten. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but this is what happens. The perpetually mid twenties. <laughs> <laughs> yes, perpetually always twenty. <laughs> Been. Yeah, I can't. I can't let her get into thirtyhood. No. No, no. Thirty, thirty, though. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, I was thinking about Baratheon's bastard son, who was from the TV Gendry. show Skin. Gendry. Where the shit is he? He was He's rowing on a boat, boat somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting him to pick up Theon. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> just row past him. Be like, yeah, I've been so, rowing all this time, buddy. How does it work with him then? He's Baratheons, but then so is he the not... Baratheons took the the throne from the Targaryens. They stole it from the Targaryens. When... Yeah, but who, this, who did the Targaryens steal it from? Well, this is it. Yeah, you know I mean, so, so that realistically, might, he's the real king. It might come down to it, and it might be that Gendry and Daenerys have to get married to unite the royal families into Bargarian things. Hmm. I wonder, wonder what he's doing, though. Rowing. Eve, row. Eve, row. Eve, row. Why not? Okay. It's better than Eve, row. Yeah. Um, your jokes are getting worse. Stroke. Stroke. <laughs> what Stroke. did you think? What What are you thinking about the episode of what's to come? I. I, I, I mean, I'm kind of just. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty much just enjoying the flow. I was expecting Varys to jump into the water as Fishman, <laughs> standing on the edge of that cliff. I yeah. literally was waiting for him just to. Jump. Sploop. Yeah. Um, I think it's quite funny because it's positioned like Daenerys is coming in. Cersei knows nothing. Daenerys has got the plan. She's going to... But her army's getting picked apart. What is Tyrion doing? Fucking he's up. He's making an absolute cunt of this. Why, though? Because I think he's underestimated his sister. And the people she's obviously got around her. And how ruthless she is. She knew Casterly Rock was going to be taken... She made the decision to just let it go, to have it sacrificed. So, which I don't would Tywin have let that happen? No, no, he wouldn't have. Casterly Rock was his home, but she doesn't care about those things because to her, the Red Keep, King's Landing, is her home because she is the queen. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like that. She's moved the Lannisters out of there. Some of them were left behind. So 
probably the, the less favourite ones were left behind to be the cousins that get, yeah, yeah you know um, I thought it was a really cool scene when Euron walks into the the throne room yep and you've got Cersei sitting there with her Meister and the Mountain and they're all just lined up and mm-hmm. they just looked fucking badass yep you know so much more intimidating than Daenerys and the crowd seemed to be behind her interestingly enough yeah mm-hmm. they did and they raised the point that she's the first ever female well I was going to say female queen she's the first ever queen yeah which must piss off Danny because she would have been looking for that as well a yeah bit. get her name in the Guinness Book of Records do you think that Euron raped his niece I think he raped her you think so? Yeah. Well, he even said to her when he was on the horse, "All this is making me hard." Yeah. Like I think he that's, definitely, he definitely beat her. I think you that's a little that. hint that yeah, he he raped her because she looked pissed. Yeah. And I think she might be the one to kill him. You know, because she's she's harder than she looks. Oh, she's hardy. Like, mm-hmm. in fact, did he did he beat her fair and square? He did, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. I can't remember. I struggled with that scene. Remember I oh, said last week that, I struggled yeah. with that scene. Did she not try and protect, protect um, um, Theon from something and get distracted in some way? Or I something? don't think so because Theon turned up. He already had her. Yeah, maybe. And then he went, reek, no like, and jumped over. That He did do that, yeah. Um, what do you think is going to happen in episode four then? <sighs> Who knows? I think there's going to be more decimation of Tyrion's army or Daenerys' army. I think there'll be some nice scenes between John and Daenerys. We'll start to see the mining of the dragon glass, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm rushing on too far ahead. Mm. Um, Arya will probably get back to Winterfell. Because mm-hmm. she's been travelling long enough now. Yeah, she, 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 she should And be. the Lannisters are going to have more tricks up their sleeves. What about the, the, fire, the fire knights? Oh, we've not seen them. The Brotherhood Without Banners. Yes. Not seen them, have we? This episode. Where do they fit into it? Are they Daenerys? They yes. would be, yeah. They would be. They're anti Lannisters, basically. They're going to fight with Jon Snow, King yeah. of the North. The Lannisters are looking powerful. Yeah. That's the thing. The Lannisters are looking powerful, but it's just Cersei and Jaime, and then a whole bunch of faceless. Which, is, which, is, which is the reason why they're becoming powerful, so you can yeah. plow through the fodder. And then Daenerys' style. are kind of a um, patchwork of almost like the Seven Kingdoms. Different different characters yeah. they're, they're basically like the Avengers yeah All, like a lot more main characters are mm-hmm. in there um, yeah I think is Baelish just trying to fuck Sansa yeah yeah that's, how that's it works. right yeah she reminds him of Catelyn so he, he's fallen in love with her or is he doing it so he can become king of the north uh, the, see that's the thing as well that's probably part of the appeal whether he knows it or not is the fact that he'd be like with John out of the picture, he'd be king of the north basically. Because he has nothing at the moment. He's a lord in name, but he doesn't have anywhere. What's Sansa like, eh? As soon as Bran turns up, you're the king of the north now. <sighs> just what a fucking over. bitch, eh? Mm, just like fucking John right over there. Eh? Yeah. But Bran's no interest, thankfully. No, because he's he's watching the multiverse. Ah, he's watching Sansa getting raped over. He can watch anything he wants. He's like, yes, you you're getting raped again. Because he's a fucking weirdo. He is the one above all. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, goddamn. <laughs> I was. I actually really enjoyed that episode, and um, it was much more enjoyable for me to not sit and take notes constantly through it. Yeah, just um, enjoy it. And just wing enjoy it. the episode and wing it. But that's obviously going to be harder the later I leave it. Yeah. Or the earlier I watch it, should I say? Yeah. Well, I watched it on Monday, and I struggled to remember things. Yeah, and it's just so much happens in it. Yep. But I think. I really like last week's fight scene at the end, though. That really did it for me. I enjoyed the idea of it, even though I couldn't see what was going on. Honestly. I don't know why you had that problem. I, it was just, maybe it was my living room was dark. I don't know, but... Uh, or too light. I can't remember. But I just felt it seems too dark and fast moving. And you couldn't tell who was who. Who's going to die next? Let's, let's, let's go for it right now. Oof, who's going to die next? Who do you think? Grey Wolf. Grey Wolf. Grey Worm. Grey Worm. You think he's next to go? Yeah, I think he's not a main character, but I think I think we'll, just, we'll, we'll squeeze him out. Mm-hmm. 
Because I, th- I, th- I do think all the main characters are going up to last closer to the end because you don't have many left. No, we're running low. Um, Sam ain't going. Daenerys isn't going for a while. John isn't going for a while. Onion Knight wouldn't go to the, like, a big battle yeah, where he tells he John... He can't really fight. That's the thing. Yeah, but he'll tell John he's amazing one more time before he dies. Mm-hmm. Um, Melisandre is going to have to take a... I feel like everyone's slated to die later, but I do think they're going to need to start Killing people, killing off, people off, and I, everyone's getting too cocky and well, not cocky, but complacent. Blase. Well, Grey Worm, Grey Worm's going to have to try and fight his way out of um, Casterly Rock. Ca- yeah, I um, think he is. I, I still don't think. Was he going to hold it? I think he might have to. With no food, I suppose it's unsullied. Yeah, the hardcore. Why wouldn't you mix up with the, with the Dothraki though? I don't know. Maybe the Dothraki will come up behind you on army and take them out. Even though they don't like water. I feel like the Dathraki are not being used correctly right now. The Iron Fleet are just... I would have kept... Everyone Maybe Yara or... Well, Elenia. You might find we go back to her. Tyen's died. She suffered. and Cersei sticks a knife in her or something like that. Seems a bit too quick, though. Hmm. Who would go? Who would go? I think that I would have sent the Dathraki to... Casterly Rock, actually, and I would rather get done sullied a more organised army around me. But then maybe but you needed the organised army to get into, get into Casterly it. Rock. Well, what about a little bit of both? Maybe. Anyway, what were you going to say? You figured us. You thought of something. Tormund and the Wildlings. Big ginger guy. Oh right, yeah. Get to the castle just as the Night King is coming round. Right, boys! Let's get in there! It's not boars and whores, but it's whites and fights. Whites and fights, not boars and whores! <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good shout at Torment. Yes. With Brienne watching. Mm, I don't know. Where's Brienne? Yeah, we've not seen her this. She's still up at uh, Winterfell. Because she's, she's protector of Lady Stark. Lady, Lady Sansa Stark. Yeah. Isn't it interesting how you can have someone who's like not a main character anyway, Brienne, and then for like four seasons she's like super focused on and then she's just not a main character yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a bit frustrating at times. It would be really but annoying as an actor, I, wouldn't I it? Would, yeah, I think she's going to come back. I think she's just resting. She's going to come back. She's going to be a big hitter again. You think so? Yeah, she's been pitched up there as a big hitter. They're not going to pitch her up there as like one of the strongest fighters in Westeros and then not use it again. She might be the one that has to put Jamie down. Jamie would accept that. Probably. He'd be like, God, you really are the ugliest woman I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> that was when Jamie was really funny. That was a brilliant moment. Yeah, that, that's, that's my thoughts because it is after midnight and I still have to go to the shop and buy stuff. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah. Well, we better get going. God damn. That was episode three of season seven of Game of Thrones. Yep, that was indeed called The Queen's Justice. It won't be very long before we watch the next one either. No, it won't. Just a couple of nights. It's, uh, what's it, Friday morning now? So, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days. There we go. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. You'll find information about us and our sponsors, Alpha Fitness on the buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com you'll find me on the usual places at D Stoby, David Stoby, whatever thanks for listening again I want to say thank you to you for being able to stay awake all this way until 10 past 12 at night I know, this is I'm very point. very impressed yeah. uh, I also want to thank our sponsors Alpha Fitness who are offering 20% off of all their products if you're a listener of the podcast just quote the code geekbuff uh, that's the code for August. And, well, oh, goddamn, we've done it again. We have indeed. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Listen, if you have any advice at all, I'd love to hear it. Maybe we have like an hour or two to speak as brothers. Advice? Does she like it gentle or rough? A finger up the bum? Not now, not now. We'll talk later.